SPM, Form 5, Physics. Chapter 1, Waves. In this video, we will summarize the expected learning outcomes of Chapter 1, Waves in the form of concept map. In this chapter, we will learn and understand more about the waves that carry energy and the way they are transmitted. There are seven main sections in this chapter. 1.1, Waves. 1.2, Reflection of Waves. 1.3, Refraction of Waves. 1.4, Diffraction of Waves. 1.5, Interference of Waves. 1.6, Sound Waves. 1.7, Electromagnetic Waves. In section 1.1, we will learn about waves and the energy transferred through vibrations. At the end of this section, you should be able to describe what is meant by wave motion. Recognize that waves transfer energy without transferring matter. Compare transverse and longitudinal waves and give examples of each. State what is meant by a wavefront. State the direction of propagation of waves in relation to wavefronts. Define amplitude, period, frequency, wavelength, wave speed. Clarify the relationship between speed, wavelength, and frequency. Solve problems involving speed, wavelength, and frequency. Sketch and interpret a displacement time graph for a wave. Sketch and interpret a displacement distance graph for a wave. Describe damping in an oscillating system. Describe resonance in an oscillating system. In section 1.2, we will learn about reflection of waves. At the end of this section, you should be able to describe reflection of waves in terms of the angle of incidence, angle of reflection, wavelength, frequency, speed, and direction of propagation. Draw a diagram to show reflection of waves. In section 1.3, we will learn about refraction of waves. At the end of this section, you should be able to describe reflection of waves in terms of the angle of incidence, angle of refraction, wavelength, frequency, speed, and direction of propagation. Draw a diagram to show refraction of waves. In section 1.4, we will learn about diffraction of waves. At the end of this section, you should be able to describe diffraction of waves in terms of wavelength, frequency, speed, direction of propagation, shape of waves. Draw a diagram to show diffraction of waves. In section 1.5, we will learn about interference of waves. At the end of this section, you should be able to state the principle of superposition, explain the interference of waves, draw interference patterns, and interpret interference patterns. Solve problems involving lambda equal to a x over d. In section 1.6, we will learn about sound waves. At the end of this section, you should be able to describe sound waves. Explain how the loudness relates to amplitude. Explain how the pitch relates to frequency. Describe applications of reflection of sound waves and calculate distances using the reflection of sound waves. At the end of this chapter, section 1.7, we will learn about electromagnetic waves. At the end of this section, you should be able to Describe the electromagnetic spectrum and state that visible light is a part of the electromagnetic spectrum. List sources of electromagnetic waves. Describe the properties of electromagnetic waves. Describe applications of electromagnetic waves. Describe the detrimental effects of excessive exposure to certain components of the electromagnetic spectrum. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.